Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to have a look now at the sponge tool, which is a really poor name, really. It doesn't really describe too much what it does. Um, you find it down here underneath the dodge brush tool here, if I right click that. Uh, or you might see the burn brush there, but it's this one here, the sponge brush tool. And what this does, so you can see here the preview of where I'm going to click. And if I just click once here, what can you see there? But it's kind of gone a bit greyer. If I grab the eyedropper over there, see you've got red. Normally there's red 173, then green 130, and blue 68. But if I move down over here, now red's come down, blue's gone up, and green's changed a little bit. They've sort of come a bit closer together. In fact, if I just click on there and then go to this one here, you can see here those have been pushed a bit uh, together like that. And if I do go to the original one there, See, it's further away, so if I drag this into here again, take that, now watch as I push it into here, it'll see what the colour is that I've clicked on. There, see, it's pulled together. When the colours pull together, they become less saturated, so when they're all together, it becomes grey. When they go further apart, they become more saturated. So what this is, this is actually a saturation brush. So calling it a sponge brush it kind of sucks out some of the colour but if you look up here we've got saturate and desaturate at the moment we've got desaturate click because these toggle like this also important are these here vibrance and hsl and let's just click on the hsl under here and see that's gone straight to pretty much grey it's a stronger effect and that's the way to, to look at these. Vibrance is a more gentle effect. HSL is a stronger effect. At the moment I've got brushes here with op opacity 100%, hardness 100%. If you turn down the opacity, it'll have a much weaker effect. So if I turn this down here to around about 50%, then you can see here it's a weaker effect. So you can control it even further with that. If I go to Saturate, and now when I come down here, if I click on this, you can see the colours got stronger there. And if I go to the HSL one, it's stronger again. So if I take the brush down here and put it to the main colour here, then click on this, that shows the, the basic colour of the whole frame. But if I then go down and pick this colour in here, Watch the three dots here. See they're spread apart? As they're pushed apart, that makes it more saturated. So there you are, that's the effect you have. You've effectively got a brush. You can do the usual changing of opacity and hardness. I'm not going to cover all these things because they're fairly standard brush things and they're not really that useful here. The key thing here is do you want saturate or desaturate with the brush? And your vibrance is a more gentle effect, or HSL, which is a much stronger effect. So let's do a quick example. Here we go, here's a picture in Yellowstone. And so now if I go to Saturate and say Vibrance here, I'll turn the hardness down a bit so I've got a slightly softer effect so it isn't quite so exaggerated. If I paint over here, Look what's happening there. See, it's getting bluer. If I paint again, here yeah, that blue becomes even more exaggerated. And each time I blue paint on of that, the blue gets even more so. I can actually use the history here because this is a destructive method. There's, it's it you can't do it to the layer below and things like that. So, if I want to go backwards, I can just click on the history here or use Control Z undo. So there you go, that is the sponge brush. 
I can see desaturate the rate this as well. So I can paint over here and look at that. Look at the way that, that takes away that color. So you can, with a sponge brush, you can saturate or desaturate. You can use a vibrance, which is a gentle effect, or HSL, which is stronger, to give more control, change the opacity here, and then, of course, the softness of the brush. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.